my channel guys so it's a little bit later on in the day it's actually quite a lot later on in the day it's actually 20 past three um i am going to be making um dumpling pie now we bought one from the supermarket the other day but it was just literally like shepherd's pie but with dumplings on top so instead of make, buying it from the supermarket again which is quite expensive full of preservatives sugar whatnot i'm gonna try and make my own so i've got the carrots here mushrooms and then we've got onion and then who is it we've got the mince here that we're using to make the, to make the pie and then we've got the suet in the cupboard so obviously i've got my little helper kdj not that she's going to be able to do a lot because most of it involves knives but you're going to try your hardest aren't you and we are going to make a dumpling pie so and you're coming along on the journey so i've peeled the carrots obviously kdj is just doing Taking the mushrooms the um i'm just going to peel the mushrooms uh, madison didn't used to like mushrooms but she will eat them in cooking now won't you mad uh-huh she's got a lot better um i think her autism kind of like stops her eating a lot of things she's just not willing to try new things mom am, am i doing all of them. Yeah, all of them, darling. I got a double. So we got a double mushroom. Me too. Meant to be good luck when you get things like that. So obviously we're just peeling the mushrooms like so. Katie is just taking the stalks out of them. You can use them with the stalks in, but I just prefer to take them out. And we're just literally like preparing dinner really yeah. nothing really much more to kind of do to do really so we'll be back in a little while once that's all done so i have chopped the carrot and the mushroom i haven't done the mince yet because obviously that takes a while um lee is chopping a onion for me <laughs> <laughs> oh really <laughs> And Katie J is helping herself to pack it crisp because she's hungry, but she's always hungry. Yeah. So we are going to boil the carrots slightly and then cook the mushroom and the mince in the... Um, big pan. In the big wok over here. And I'm going to add some seasoning and other bits and pieces to it. And then it's just literally wait for it to cook really. So I have put the mushroom and spices in the wok and I'm just going to... In the wok? In the wok. <laughs> and there you go. So I've just put in there... Oh, there's a bit of carrot in there. Huh. Oh, well, that can stay in there. ain't going to help. So in there we've got some mushroom and a little bit of oil and some oregano and mint. And... We are going to make a dumpling pie. Don't worry guys, the, uh, the hobby's on, but obviously it takes a while to warm up. Or I've put the wrong one on, one of the two. No, nope. I haven't put the wrong one on. Which is more like me. <laughs> Which is more like, <laughs> shut up you. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Lee's just chopping onion and that's going to go in with it. CNR. She's got the shower, I've done her makeup look. Kadia, again, Selena Crisps. And I finished my diamond painting. I, well, I'm not, I have, I'm literally, I lost some beads that I needed. And the ones I need, there was loads of and I didn't have enough. So we've had to order some more and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's the same colour. Um, it's got like a number next to it. So we've just ordered that number and hoping and praying it's the same one. And then once that's done, hopefully, then it's all done and all finished and then I can show you the finishing result. So I've added the onion in. Oh, I'm also flipping it all over the place. I've added the onion in and I'm cooking this up first. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to get Lee to do the mince, which he's just about to do. <laughs> Am I a mind reader or what? You are a mind reader, babe. 
I've just come straight over here and picked up the mint. Yep. Now how cool is that? Yeah, he did. I didn't even have to say anything to him when he went to start to do it, but then that's what I said to him. So Lee's gonna do the mints and Sienna's gonna get out of the kitchen with some cooking. <laughs> Katie is helping. Help. Katie, you can put the carrots in the saucepan for me without having them all over the floor, possibly. So I'm going to show her a quick way. Look, I'll show you a quick way. Hold the saucepan there. Not, not too many at a time. A few at a time, please. That's it. So I've got the saucepan, don't worry. There you go. Not too many at a time. Like that. You're having them all over the floor. Right, you hold the camera. Oh. So Mummy's going to obviously put the, the carrots in the saucepan because obviously Kadia seems to think the floor wants some more. Don't you Kadia? <laughs> oh, you tried didn't you? Yeah. It's too much. So we're going to put that sauce carrots in there like that. That's so. Uh, and then we're going to move the bin out of the way. And Kadia is going to get some water in the saucepan aren't you Kadia? Me too. Move the stool, my little helper. Put some water in it just enough to cover, cover the carrot. So I'm just cooking up the mushroom and onion with the mint and oregano in. Mom, is that enough? Good I ask, Daddy. Good enough to just soften them up. We're just going to soften it up because the carrots are going to go in here with this before we put the mince in. And we'll be back in a little while once we've kind of more prepared everything. So I have put the mushroom and onion. That's all done. Here's some of those white granites to extract the fan. Bit of salt. Can you put a bit of pepper in? I can indeed. I don't know if you like it. I'm not just using it. Bit of pepper. And then just leave that to rest. Carrots are on. Uh, mince is all ready to go. And I think we can probably put that mince in there now, can't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Put the mince in there. I've got to put the mince in now. Wait. Me and Lee both do love to cook, but because of like our problems with our standing and stuff for too long, it's not it's not easy. And obviously, I've got arthritis in my hands, so it's not the easiest of things to do. So, um, I bought a slow cooker recipe book, and we're going to try that as well. Um, let's just put in the other mints in. I'm going to use two packets of mints. Uh, but you may need to use one. So uh, just in case anyone wonders what the hell it is I'm doing, I actually I just do it this way because I don't like ending up with just like big clumps of beef, yeah. yeah, mince stuck together. I like to separate it, so I separate it beforehand. Yep. And then I put it back in the pot, and then I separate it like that as well and hopefully it should stay Sorry. nice and crumbly and not clumpy. So, Lee's going to hold the camera while I stir this all in. He's going to hold the camera disgusting. while I stir yeah. this that all That don't in. look disgusting. Look at that. That looks yummy. It's better than McDonald's. That's right, that's not That's right, it's not. It does get hot there. You just make sure you keep your hand away from it. Yeah. So, it's better than Just Eat, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> it takes longer than just eat. I suppose we've got plenty of time to cook while we're in lockdown. So Actually, do you know what, Kaja? It probably doesn't take longer. Probably take, it's probably quicker than just eat. When I try and get a Chinese on a Saturday night, and trust me, this is quicker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't live in a big town, do we? Huh? No, we don't really live in a big town. No, we just live in a town full of fat people. <laughs> no, no, they're be not. horrible. No, they're not. No, they're not. I thought it was a raisin in there, then it's not, it's a mushroom. My apologies raisin. to anyone, obviously, that's slightly overweight. So is Lee. Yeah, trust, yeah, trust me, I am actually laughing about myself. <laughs> so yeah, you just literally like stir everything in, make, until the mince is all cooked. 
and then we'll soften the carrots up there and we will then put the carrots in here, cook it and then put it in the oven. Have you sworn at anyone yet or kicked the bin? No. No, we're never going to get famous then. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's it, that's what we're doing. Um, okay. No, don't Aim you dare. At me. Don't you dare. Just aim at me. And that there, <laughs> that is the mince done. <laughs> Just in case anyone out there is a Gordon Ramsay fan. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So we can't really do much more with that. We just literally would have to turn it actually on. I turn it off. Have we been doing all that mixing and you no, ain't no, even no, had no, the heat no, on? No, 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 no. It was on, but oh. then I turn it off because of the thing. So. Welcome to a professional cooking channel, guys. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> so once the carrots are set on camera, I didn't smack you at all. <laughs> oh, well, I hit you in the nose with that little thing. Yeah. Right, okay. It's the strap from the camera. <laughs> Didn't realise. So, yeah, not really a lot we can do. Oh, we've got this as well. This is what we bought for the dumpling mix. Um, we normally make dumpling balls for minced beef and dumplings, which I'll show you another day we'll, that we do. Yep. And Lee really enjoys that, don't you? Yep. And, but we're just going to mix this up. We've got two packets, I'm not sure how much we need. Does anyone like me though? I can actually just have a bowl full of, of dumplings. dumplings and the gravy. That's it. I'm happy with that. That's all I want. I absolutely love dumplings. But doing it this way, there's no preservatives in it. There's no sugar in it or anything else. Added preservatives or sugar or salt or anything because it's all fresh and homemade. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. Turn the heat back on. <laughs> so we'll be back in a little while, guys, once we've added the carrots. Did you, Did you see the carrots are there? Steam it away nicely. Yep. Okay, guys, so um, at the moment, I'm still going we think the carrots <laughs> are soft enough to go back in there. Yeah, they are soft enough. So, what we're going to do is we are going to ask Katie and Jade to politely move from the front of the cupboard so I can get the colander. So, it's a drawer, don't it? <laughs> yeah, cupboard, drawer, what is you know. It? What is a colander? Uh. This is a colander. Oh, I, I use that for... I use that for noodles and like pasta. That's it, no, yeah. Pasta. And pasta. Yeah, pasta to drain the water out. Use it for rice. Sorry guys, hiccups. <laughs> right, so... Let's turn that one off. Stay back. We'll bring this one over here, like this. So we'll put that down. Put that down. Right. Kelly, yeah. yeah. would you be so kind as to hold the camera? So we'll drain. got your carrot all drained in there looking lovely it in there. and it's gonna go into here why does the mint look brown because well, um, that is a very interesting question right so but it's one that only a scientist can work out why it goes from red to brown because red is raw brown is cooked yeah that's how you know when it's cooked. That's so how you know it's cooked. See, Dad, this when Daddy has steak, he has it red still, so it's raw still, moving with the bell to the top. Yeah, when my steak comes out on the plate, you can hear it coming. You know? Ding, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just mix the carrots in with the mince and then turn that down to about three and so just nice. let it simmer. And we'll be back once it's done. Why does it look so nice? Well, oh, because mum's just good at cooking. <laughs> oh, thank you. Can't say no more than that. 
So the kids are having new potatoes with us and green beans and Lee's having lunch too I think it's called and last week and I'm going to do some petit pois as well and probably some carrots I'm not sure uh, oh and Lee's having asparagus asparagus tips fresh asparagus we haven't got a clue how to prepare it, so Lee's looking up how to prepare, prepare it now because we haven't got a clue. So the mince is done, kids' potatoes are in there, Lee's veg is in there, and green beans. I think they're called green beans, aren't they? Yeah. And the asparagus, leek, yeah. and a mange too, or mangy tout as I call it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lee just guessed his birthday present and I'm not happy. <laughs> and he feels like absolute rubbish now. And I feel bad now. Don't you? I didn't. I had no idea. Oh, I, I... You had no idea about your drone either. <sighs> yeah, but I still didn't have no idea about my drone. But if you'd have probably kept, if you hadn't have said what you said, and started suggesting other channels and other content and stuff that we could do then I wouldn't have thought twice about a laptop <laughs> so yeah I feel I hate it when I spoil when I spoil birthday presents or Christmas presents I've done it so many times and purely by accident but I had your dream for like three months and obviously you didn't guess it no I didn't have a clue and I thought you would guess it yeah because you said you really wanted but you didn't it it was the money and not that we can't it's not that we can't afford it but i know you got a bad habit of you will turn around and say yeah it's a lot of money and you don't like spending a lot of money on something that might not get used as much as like you know what i mean yeah. it's too expensive for something that's not going to get used but and that's why i thought the same uh, that's why I didn't think of the, dr the, the drone when you got it for Christmas. I never thought of it for Christmas because I didn't think you'd pay that amount for a drone I to didn't, use. I couldn't think of anything else to get you, so that was You know, it. but I will use it, you know. I'm intending to use it once the weather picks up and, and we can actually go weather. out. <laughs> <laughs> I am intending to use it more, but yeah. So, yeah, so he kind of guessed it. I'm not going to say what it is, obviously, but he knows. I may have to scrap that idea and think of something else. I may have to. I don't know yet. No, I still want it. <laughs> so, guys, this is the dumpling pie. Um, I don't know, kind of, whether it's going to turn out nice or not. Um, I had to... I run out of suet, so I had to kind of compromise with this dumpling mix to kind of make it cover because there's lots of us <laughs> but as everyone knows dumpling mix will like um, expand and you know obviously get bigger um, so I'm just doing the potatoes now for them our potatoes in the oven and then the veggies in the steamer I don't know what Lee's doing he's just sorting out a bag we found I was sorting out out there and tidying up but Obviously, this is all Kenzie's um, diabetes stuff. Yeah. So we don't know how that's found in a bag. Yeah. So obviously. I don't know who dumped it out there, but probably obviously someone did. We're just literally waiting for dinner. But yeah, this is what the dumpling pie looks like. I'm going to put a little bit of mint on the top. That's a that's just like a seasoning, I suppose. I do love a little bit of mint. <laughs> um, you don't understand the word little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Lee knows obviously, yes. Yeah, so I've just put a little bit of seasoning on the top and obviously we'll be back in a little while once it's all cooked. Alright guys, so 
Um, I'm just literally waiting for the dumpling pie to cook in the oven. Um, everything else is cooked by the looks of it. Um, just waiting for our roast potatoes to finish. And if it looks like I've been crying, yes, I have. Um, everything just got a bit too much with this lockdown. Didn't it, monkey? Everything just got a bit too much with this lockdown and obviously my granddad. And the uncertainty of everything that's going on, like, you know, like with this COVID and whatnot. And basically my daughter making, making the wrong choices, really. But hey ho, she'll learn. Um, but I won't be trampled over anymore. And this is where I start to be selfish, as they say. So to me, you know, family's everything, you know. But yeah, I knew it hit me properly with my granddad. Um, soon after. But I'm okay now, I've had a cry. <laughs> You're my daddy fans. And yeah, I've had yeah, I've had a cry and my granddad was very special to me. Um I lost touch for a little while after being in, in quite an abusive relationship. But I found him again and unfortunately when I did find him he'd had a stroke and he wasn't as healthy as he was when I last saw him but he was always that special someone in my life that i could run to that i could talk to but yeah it, it just get, it just all gets too much i said this lockdown as well is not helping um not being able to go out not being able to do what you want not being able to go on holiday um, and before anyone says anything, no, I'm not being selfish, you know, I don't like being indoors, I'm not going to lie about it, I'm not going to pretend I like being indoors, because I don't, I like to be spontaneous, I like to get up in the morning, ask, ask any of my family, ask Lee, ask anyone, I'll get up in the morning, like I did one October, in the half term, say we're going camping today, and by yeah, 12... Yeah, trust me, I won't bloody forget that. <laughs> By 12 o'clock that afternoon, we was out setting the tent, tent up in the middle of a field in the middle of October, so or the end of October. So that's how I'm like, I'm spontaneous that's like that. Roll. You know, that's how we roll, and that's why we don't have pets or anything like that because we're just way too spontaneous. Um, life is for living, and you have to be out there and you have to live it. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I did get a little bit upset. Um, that's when I was feeling the last little bit. That's why I wasn't on camera. But yeah, the first lockdown was okay. Second lockdown got a little bit harder. But the third lockdown, I think just it's just got too much, you know. And there's no end in sight, you know. Yes, there's vaccines and everything like that. But there's just there just doesn't seem to be any end in sight. And we are, as human beings, we are social animals. We are you know we don't really socialize that much but we like to go on holiday we like to go out for the day we like to do things and as once this is all over obviously you will see what our days are like and you'll see how spontaneous we are you only get one life and i say live it so for anyone out there that's obviously lost anyone special in their family or whatever or close friend or whatever to covid i know how you feel it's not nice and I knew it had hit me eventually. You know, in April we're supposed to be going to America. It's meant to be a special trip because it's Lee's birthday, Madison's birthday. We know that's not gonna happen. Um, but we know why it's not gonna happen. But it's still hard. It's still hard to comprehend that the world's in such a mess and there's just literally no way out. But this man here, he is my rock and my saviour. How much? I don't know. Jade's. So Jade's fake ones. This is the man that keeps me going. Um, but every now and again I break down in front of him. He's struggling yeah. himself, aren't you? But I pick up the pieces. Yep. Yeah. I always will. And he'll always be there. So if you're struggling through this lockdown, 
don't be don't be scared to tell someone. <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna turn around and say, obviously come round and no. see me and he'll talk you out. Don't, don't be scared to talk to someone, don't be scared to have a cry if you need to. Nah, we're human. Human. Yeah. That's all we are, you know. We we have yeah. emotions. Um so yeah. If you've got no one to talk to, you know, um, you can always comment down below on our videos and yeah, I'll, have a rant. You know, have a rant to us. I know what it's like. You know, it's hard. Life at the moment is very hard, and there is no kind of deadline or when it's going to end and how long this is going to go on for. None of us have ever lived through a pandemic before, so I think that's why it's harder. And all these people out there that do not listen to the rules and have parties and, you know, have people round when they're not supposed to, are just making this prolong and go on longer and longer and longer. So, yeah, if you're struggling, I know how you feel. So, Lee knows how you feel. Um, I feel sorry for the kids of this generation, I really do, because they are gonna suffer they are going to suffer quite bad um, and who knows where they're going to where this is going to lead them you know in five ten years down the line what damage this has done I just hope that obviously my children going back to school at some point will be enough to kind of help them catch up you know but for now guys I'm going to end this video and I'll be back in a little while once our pie is cooked okay guys so um we had a little bit of a dilemma uh well not really a dilemma as such is it it was just odd we kind of did the topping which as you can see looks absolutely gorgeous look at the thickness oh look at that but the weird part was this half rose lovely it come up like that the other side just stayed completely level so i'll use this so <laughs> i'll use this mixture in future yeah so we'll have that mixture but this is basically once it's on the plate with all the other stuff with it this is dinner for tonight look at that Gorgeous. Thanks for me and Katie. Yeah, so. I was going to help, but you told me to get out of the kitchen. Well done, Mummy. It looks lovely. That better not be my bit. No, it's mine. I was going to say. Your bit's on your plate already. <gasps> I tried. Oh my God. Oh, Look at the size know. of that. Oh, you don't like one I was supposed to be doing like portion. Oh, okay, then if you're not happy with it, you can get have one. off. <laughs> Wow! Hello. But you did still manage to get it I've in more, in the space, even though you did make it like three stories. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so we're gonna go and eat this, guys, and we will be back. Um, and then you know what the kids think of it, because they And let it. you know the outcome, <laughs> and I'll show you hopefully <laughs> some empty plates, <laughs> but I can't guarantee it. Okay, guys. So as promised, um, we did turn around and say to you that. We was gonna let you know what was left and who at what. So this is what was left. I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. I just could not do it at all. It was way too much. But I must admit, it was absolutely gorgeous. So well done you. Thank you. And I think the kids liked it too. Yeah. I love it. It was nice and filling. Yeah? Yeah, it was yeah, well filled. So if you have it, it's filling. Yeah, so there you go. I thought I'd try it, you know? I thought it was something yeah. that I'd try because we bought it from Morrison's and it was nice, so it can't be that hard to do. And it, was, it, it was actually nice, just too much. Mm. Make individual yeah. next time, I think. I think so. And with that, we are now going to end our evening. We are going to see about getting the kids ready for bed bit by I'm bit. I'm all ready! Yeah. Katie is all ready for bed and we're going to sit down and watch some telly. Um, maybe I might do some of my some of my 5D 
Don't make I can go upstairs and watch my projector because I keep forgetting I have that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay I... then. So we are going to have only got one thing left to do, <laughs> haven't we, Kadia J? Kadia's standing there with a toothbrush. And that is to <laughs> say. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the not notification bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Bye. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye bye. bye.